Hi, I'm Bruce. Welcome to my Baptronics Mountain Labs here in Colorado. And uh, what we're going to look at today is a, um, a model LC200A inductance capacitance meter. This particular meter has been on my bench uh, for about the last uh, three, four years and has been my primary uh, uh, standard for uh, for measuring capacitance and inductance. And it's been it's done a admirable job. That's why I kept it. Um, I now have uh, uh, purchased a more expensive uh, unit that measures a number of uh, capacitance, inductance, CSR, so on. And uh, so I have a surplus here of uh, a couple of different meters that uh, I've combined into one and I'm, I'm now uh, offering them up for sale. And this is one. Uh, comes with the user manual guides you through the usage and gives you the specs on, a, on the unit. This particular unit um, uh, measures from about 0 0.01 picofarad uh, uh, all the way up to um, 10 microfarad in, uh, in the low range. And then uh, it measures capacitance from uh, one microfarad up to a hundred microfarad um, in the big capacitance range. Uh, it uses a 500 kilohertz signal uh, to, to determine the uh, capacitance. You'll find on a lot of meters, uh, uh, 100, you'll find one kilohertz, 100 kilohertz, 500 kilohertz in this case. Uh, and then other ones will have multiple frequencies that you can use uh, right on down to say 100 hertz. So at uh, just about every frequency, you're going to get a little bit different reading. And uh, so it matters what frequency that you measure at. And you'd like to try and get as close to the manufacturer specs as you can. But um, a 500 kilohertz signal uh, will cover a large range uh, of capacitance and inductance, especially in the RF area. I imagine that's why they did it. Um, inductance, it'll measure from uh, 0 0.001 microhenry all the way up to um, 100 millihenry in the uh, in the low range, and then it goes from 100 millihenry up to 1 henry in the high range. And accuracies range anywhere from 1 to 5%, uh, depending on what range of these capacitances and inductances you're working at. So. Good to know. It's a uh, uses four AA batteries and uh, also will work off of a five volt supply. I have a five volt supply coming with it, so I'll provide you with that. You'll also get the test leads that go with it. And um, we have functions on the front panel here that allow us to to choose whether we want to read high or low C. If we uh, want high C, we push in. If we want low, we let it out. We're measuring CX, it says. Uh, you leave the leads un, not touching, and you hit zero, and you wait until it tells you it's okay, then you can release, and you've zeroed out the capacitance in the leads, and you're ready to go ahead and measure, measure a capacitance. So let's take a look at one here, just for kicks, since we're in the, in the mood here. It's telling me that I'm measuring 1,001 picofarad, between 1 and, one and 2. Well, that's, uh, that's presumably good. This is a, a uh, 1,000 picofarad 5% capacitor. So if we're measuring 1,001 or 2, we're doing a wonderful job. Okay, let's try another one just for kicks here. All right, this one says we're measuring 10.09 nanofarads. This would be the same as about uh, 10,000 picofarads, I believe. And um, 
what we have here is a um, a 10,000 picofarad 0.3 percent. So at 0.3 percent, we'd expect this thing to read uh, about 10.0. 10.003, I believe, and we're getting 10.009. Okay, here we're going to connect a uh, 110,000 picofarad, 1% capacitor up, and we're reading 11.13 nanofarads, so we got 111,300 picofarad, something like that. So that's good. One percenter. Okay, here we have a 50 picofarad 5% capacitor. It's a silver mica. We're getting about 51 picofarad, so that's good. Let's try 500. This is a 500 at 2%. getting a reading of 501.5 microfarad which is very good so we're reading that very well okay here we have a <clears throat> 3900 picofarad 5% silver mica and we're getting 3957 as a reading if I let go of it 3954 <clears throat> and that would be at 5%, so that should be quite good. Okay, we're going to try a 0 0.068 microfarad polyester. And we see we've got 66.25 nanofarads instead of 68, which, considering these are like... 10 or 20 percent, that'd be good. Here's one, uh, this is a 0.1 microfarad. So what we get on it. Come on. Yeah. 99.09. Instead of 100, it's good. So we see we're reading it uh, relatively well here. Let's take a look at um, inductance. Okay, now we're going to take a look at inductance. This is a 0.1, or 0 actually, to 10 in 0.1 Henry steps uh, variable inductor. <clears throat> right now we're reading... Um, 0.1 Henry, there'd be 100 millihenries, uh, we're reading 96. It would be 200, we've got 194.7. 300, we got 290.6. 400, we got 387.8. So let's take her all the way up here. And at. Um, one Henry, we get about 961, 960.8. Okay, so we've got the um, LC meter in the uh, inductance mode, and we're connected on this precision variable inductor. We're right now at 100... Um, 100 micro henrys on the dial. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I believe you can. 100 micro. And we're reading 99.59. So let's go ahead and vary this thing up. We'll take her to 200. And we're seeing 199.7. 300. We got. 299.1 400 
398.2 and 500. 499.4. So we read well in, in the inductance across that 500 micro Henry um, span.